I wanted to talk a little bit about your use of wire. Mm -hmm. And um, I particularly wanted to stand by this, please, mm -hmm. because the feeling of a long wire is different than the little splayed wires you have in other places. Yeah, right, and, um, right. and it gives it a whole different flow and physical yeah. feeling when you look at it. Like you yeah. feel that length in your body, you know. But this is a natural thing for you, right? Mm -hmm. um, maybe mm -hmm. we should talk a little bit about your history okay. and your mother as an artist in Ruth Azawa and her Good. part in your life. Yes. So first of all, you're talking about scale. Right. Right. And that's one of my little tricks uh -huh. <laughs> about working with wires, that I can work with it and then with light and casting the shadow, I can make these. A ginormous so circle. It's like more. The, yeah. the sculpture can be tiny, you know? Yeah. But then it's I can play with the drawing part of it. Yeah. But the actual sculpture, yeah, I want I I want big. I yeah. love working big. Yeah. So I'll just say this piece started off with these long Tresses, long, <laughs> you know, unspooling it from the spool and straightening it and bending it and hooking it. But this was on a different hanging apparatus, and uh, I think it's this accumulation of line that I really love. If you come here, you can see there's this kind of this beautiful subtle yeah. shadow behind here. I, and, I, I would love to see a little breeze come by because yeah. they're all suspended. <laughs> <laughs> they're all suspended, you know. So right. they're just right. they're unfettered or yes. fettered in the least way possible. Right. In the way that you hang right. things, you don't want them to be welded. You yeah. want them to yeah. be flowing. Is that yes. right? Yes, it's true. And then this. Like there's a, a little loop here that's just so that the wire can hang in this little groove. So it's simpler. It was also looking at the pine branch and kind of seeing like, wow, there's this little sack that holds all this yeah. beautiful, these needles. And so really trying to simplify my own use of the wire. Uh, I was just sitting in my living room looking at an image of my mom's work. Aha! Uh -huh. And I didn't realize it, but I am completely speaking to her work. I mean, I realized it, but it's like when you see an image and it's all of these forms that have wax linen strings. Oh, hanging and interact with space and right? light and, and so she made these forms that are wax and beautiful kind of like a swallow's nest or yeah. um but she at the end of crocheting this little piece she left the string wow. and so these are kind of like very that. much about her her crocheting started when I was very young. She was making lamps for my doll houses, and then she started, you know, really making these huge forms. And I think was very inspired by her friend Ruth Sawa, uh -huh. who my uncle had gone to Black Mountain College with. Right, right. And so my family got the privilege of, you know, going to her house, seeing her work in San Francisco, and mom, I think, learned crocheting, maybe from Ruth. Yeah. Ruth was crocheting for right, a while, right, right. but um, the two of them are definitely in my mind. And from living with, we had some of Ruth's pieces in our home, so I think this whole idea, you know, of working with in mind. Right. I think my mom was doing that in her work. 
kind of course who's doing that in her work, and the show at the De Young. Right. That happened what year? I don't I can't remember what year it was, but it was extremely powerful because not only were they showing yeah. her beautiful, tall, yeah. long yeah. sculptures, but they were casting their shadows and almost giving those shadows equal weight yeah. in how they were presented. So I that's a language that I really understand. You speak that language. I, I want, I'm trying to learn that. I think you speak it well, so I, I really love that. And also, there's a kind of feeling like patterns that repeat themselves mm -hmm. in nature oh, yeah. that are often both minuscule yeah. and monumental. And massive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. I love that, like yeah. how tributaries of a river are like yes. the way that branches come out from a tree or all of those things are so fascinating, or the way that waves sometimes simulate clouds. Mm -hmm. you and know, then we can their... take that and think about the body and the insides of yeah. the body and lungs yes, and capillaries yes, yes. and yes. Yeah. And fingers and hands and yeah. yeah. And I then love you think that. about the metaphor of thought right. and can it, we be broad minded? Right. See, so it's sort of an, an intuition that I think you have so well. I notice when we hang the show, you're so careful about space, mm -hmm. about the rightness of the right amount of space around things. And um, I think that's an intuition about nature itself, about mm -hmm. when you, a space becomes dynamic mm -hmm. because of the space around an object. 